Welcome to Smack That Fact, your go-to channel for mind-blowing top lists of interesting and fascinating facts. Today, we have a fascinating topic to discuss, mummies. We all know about the mummies of ancient Egypt, but did you know that there are some bizarre facts about them? Fact number one, ground mummies were used as a cure. In medieval Europe, there was a substance called mummia, which was made from a type of resinous bitumen. It was believed to be a cure for everything from toothache to heart attacks, and even used as an aphrodisiac. Based on an incorrect translation, Europeans misunderstood that the substance was actually made from real mummies. The misconception arose from misinterpreting the Arabic term mummia which was a type of a bitumen found in Western Asia, as word, mummy. This led to a profitable trade between Egypt and Europe, with actual mummies being substituted for rare mummia substance which was in fact a bitumen. A lot of mummies were sold and brought overseas just for this purposes. Of course, this had no medical affect on people. In the 16th century, Egypt banned mummia exports, and unscrupulous European apothecaries started selling fake mummia made from dried and embalmed corpses of executed criminals and other stolen bodies. Eventually, during the Renaissance, scholars realized the error and physicians stopped prescribing this ineffective substance. Fact number two at least 8 million animals were killed just to be mummified. In the catacombs of Saqqara, located south of Cairo, researchers have found burial sites containing at least 8 million mummified animals, mostly dogs. These catacombs were dedicated to Anubis, the jackal-headed god associated with the afterlife. In ancient Egypt, people mummified animals for several reasons. One purpose was to ensure that their cherished pets could accompany them into the afterlife. Another reason was to provide sustenance for the deceased. Additionally, mummified animals were used as offerings to specific gods. They were seen as valuable gifts that could please the gods and gain their favor. It is believed that puppy farms existed in ancient Egypt, where Egyptians bred dogs to be sacrificed as offerings. Fact number three. Pigment made of mummies was used for paintings. Mummy brown, also called Egyptian brown or kaput mortum was a deep brown pigment used by artists. It had good transparency and was the shade between burnt umber and raw umber. The pigment was created by mixing the dried flesh of mummies with white pitch and myrrh. Due to the presence of ammonia and fat particles, mummy brown pigment could potentially impact other colors used alongside it. From the 18th to the 19th centuries, mummy brown was highly popular. However, by 1915, the demand for mummy brown significantly decreased, and suppliers stopped offering it. Despite its decline, it remained a favorite color of the pre-Raphaelites, and artists like Eugene Delacroix, William Beechey, Edward Byrne Jones, Lawrence Alma Tadema, and Martin Drolling used it in their works. It is believed that the painting Liberty Leading the People by Eugene Delacroix was painted using this pigment, as he was known to use it in his works. Fact number 4. Mummies were unwrapped at mummy unwrapping parties. Mummy unwrapping parties were a popular social event in the 19th and early 20th centuries. These gatherings involved the unwrapping and examination of ancient Egyptian mummies, and were either public or private. Owning a real mummy was a status symbol and private mummy unwrapping parties were considered a privilege and provided a unique experience for those with a keen interest in archaeology and Egyptology. While these parties were seen as entertaining and educational at the time, they have since been criticized for their disregard of cultural sensitivity and ethical treatment of human remains. Fact number 5. You could buy a mummy from a street vendor. During the 19th century, it was apparently common in Egypt to sell ancient mummies as tourist souvenirs to wealthy European and American tourists. Street vendors offered mummies for purchase, as depicted in this 1865 photograph. The demand for mummies in Europe was so high that even after extensive tomb raiding, there weren't enough authentic ancient Egyptian bodies available, leading to the creation of fake mummies made from recently deceased people. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this 5 bizarre facts about mummies as interesting as we did. Don't forget to smack that like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing facts.